This is the 2016 Math Kangaroo Level 78 Prom Number 28. Katie writes a different positive integer on each of the 14 cubes in the pyramid. The sum of the nine integers written on the bottom cubes is equal to 50. The integer written on each other cube is equal to the sum of the integers written on the four cubes underneath it. What is the greatest possible integer that can be written on the top cube? A, 80, B, 98, C, 104, D, 110, E, 118. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we'll be doing the solution. So as you can see, I have drawn the different levels of the cube. And I'm going to refer to them as levels 1, 2, and 3. And so we are looking for the greatest possible integer that can be written on the top cube. So again, the top cube is this one over here, and that corresponds to this on the diagram. And we know from the problem that each cube is equal to the sum of the integers written on the four cubes underneath it. So in order to find the greatest value that can be written on the top cube, we're basically looking for the greatest sum of the four cubes that are underneath it. And the four cubes that are underneath the top cube are the cubes of level two. So in order for the sum of the numbers on level two to be the greatest, which, like I said before, would mean that the, um, the top cube has the greatest possible number, and that's what we're looking for, we should take a look at level three. So how can we write the cubes of level two with respect to the cubes of level three? So let's say we're looking at the number written on this cube of level two. We can see that this corresponds to the sum of these four cubes. And we can continue this process. The number written over here is equal to the sum of the numbers on these four. The number written over here is equal to the sum of the numbers of these four cubes. And the one written over here is equal to the sum of the numbers of these four cubes. So what can we say? Well, we know that looking at the sum of these four which again is the number written on the top over here, we can see that this number in the middle is being counted four times. And this one's being counted twice, this one's being counted twice, this one's twice, this one twice, and then these remaining ones one time. That's why I've written some of them with, you know, four little marks, the one in the middle, some of them with two marks, and some of them with one. Again, that corresponds to the number of times it's being counted in the sum of the four cubes above it. Okay, so we can see that this number must be the greatest possible number because it's being counted four times in the numbers written above it. So again, if we want the top cube to have the greatest possible number, the four cubes below it have to have the greatest possible values. And for that to be true, we need the center of the third level to have the greatest possible value. Because again, it's being counted four times. So in order for that to have the greatest possible value, the other numbers around it have to be the least, right? Because we know that they add up to 50. I'm going to label the number in the middle as being this blue, just a blue number, right? That's what we're looking for. And in order for that to be the greatest, the numbers around it must be the least. So without, at the moment, caring 
which number goes where, we know the numbers around the center must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And again, this is because we know that she has a different positive integer on each cube. And we want the one in the middle to be the greatest. The ones around it are the least. And this, if we add this up, we'll get 36 plus this blue number in the middle we're looking for. Must be equal to 50. Subtracting 36 from both sides, we get that blue number is 14. The number in the middle must be 14. So what does that tell us about this sum that we looked at earlier? Well, again, we're counting that number four times. Okay, great. So we have four times 14. Now, what about the other numbers? Well, keep in mind, we realize that these ones are being counted two times. Okay, so if those ones are being counted twice, then we need them to be the greatest numbers out of the ones that we have. So again, the numbers around the middle are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8 in some, you know, order. Well, if we want the sum to be the greatest, then the ones being counted twice should be the greatest out of the numbers available. That means that they should be 5, 6, 7, 8 because they're being counted twice. And again, we want the greatest number possible. So we're counting Again, the sum is going to be 2 times 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 because we're counting those twice, which means that the remaining four numbers must be the ones that are counted one time. So we just add plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. And this is equal to 56. This is 56. And then we have 2 times this, which is... 26, 2 times 26 is 52. And then we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is equal to 10. So we have 56 plus 52 plus 10, which is equal to 118. The greatest possible integer that can be written on the top cube must be 18. This is answer choice E. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.